Rolling. First time ever driving on the right side and I got a stick shift. You mean the left side? Oh, you're driving on the right, but yeah, oh, yeah. on the left side. Alert. Is your rear view mirror adjusted? No, not the You're actually, already, yeah, you're already on the wrong oh, side I'm of the road. Oh, I'm already on the wrong oh side God. of the road. Oh, it's a one-way street I'm on, so. <laughs> oh, dear. Pedestrians, are, uh, make sure ah, you pay attention. Ah, to one ten for the final <laughs> turn left onto Welter Road and then turn left. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm, you're still blinking, I think. I know, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, God. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. I got it. All right. This is a Ford Puma. 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 All right, oh. you pay attention. This is crazy shifting with my left. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> okay, okay. Filming. You sure it's filming? Yes. Yes? Yep. All right, so we're going on an adventure. Keep right on right. 25 towards working now. This bitch is going to keep on interrupting us the whole time, and that's fine. You got to know this about me first. Whenever I'm in Germany, I'm going to proceed on M25. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to be speaking in a really shoddy Eastern European accent because I do that shit on vacation. But right now, I'm in London town, so I speak in a very shite Limey. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Uh, anyway, think. This car is awesome. So we just got a weird message. Uh, we're, we're, so we're going on an adventure that you guys are going to like. So just hang in there. But this car is awesome because, like, we just got a weird message on the uh, big computer panel that was saying something, blah, blah, blah. And we just said, ah, whatever, ignore that. But then I realized what it was doing. And it was charging my phone via, like, radiation, <laughs> uh, convection, or whatever they call the charge where you're not actually hooked up. So that's pretty cool. And shifting with my left hand is nifty. It's it's very similar. No, it's okay. I didn't know what you were doing. I thought it's very similar to driving on the right side of the road, except for over here, we're on the left. <laughs> and I'm having such a blast driving like this. So anyways, okay. Okay, so that's the car. Fun little machine. There's Irene. She's the best wife ever for not uh, being all weird about me wanting to go to a place like this. Honey Bravos. Seems to be the biggest uh, dealership here. And the deal though, I wanted to drive a car. I wanted to drive a car with a stick shift. That's been a dream of mine. I always wanted to do that on the left hand side. You know, shift with my left hand and all that stuff. And so since we were renting a car for that, it was like, oh, let's drive out into the country. It's lovely. It's really lovely out here. And now we're gonna go see all the cool shit that they have at a store like this. Oh, look at that. That Now that's not cool. Actually, that's all boxy and stupid looking. But still lawnmowers. I can't wait to see a riding lawnmower. Hey, hey. Hmm. They got the 2511 there. Nicole? Oi. Who's Vana? So far, same Z's. Yeah, that's not that cool. I want to see that ride in a lot more. It's probably outside. Mm. All right, we'll, we'll pause this. How do you, would you like that one? Oh, wow. 
That's so light. <laughs> I know. Let me, is this one even smaller? Well, it's the same saw except for top handle and rear handle. So get a feel for that first. Oh, what would it be? Oh, so light. It still hurts my elbows. Now try the little teeny tiny one. That's a chainsaw for you, yeah? I love it. Do you have a hexa chain? Yeah. What's that right there? There you go. Oh, sweet sassy. I need 72 drive links, 050 gauge. What? 72. <laughs> 72, 72, yeah. So they don't have these in the same? No, they don't have them. Oh. I'm going to be the first motherfucker to have them. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm really happy about that shit. Do you have the file for it? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm going to get that shit. You just getting one? R H. Normally that it's a R S and it stands for rapid speed. Cut. R H is rapid hexa. Uh -huh. So that is fucking deadly. I can't wait to try it. Seriously, we're gonna do a whack off with this. Yeah. <laughs> What is this to the files? They've only got the files on uh, two of the sides. Okay, I got you. Yeah. So, so it's either up, and, up and down. All the way around. You mind if I record you? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's good, right? So, um, how much are the files then? <laughs> um, <laughs> 10 quid? <laughs> oh, well, I definitely need... Uh, I, I can't get these at all. I can't get them. Uh, so look what I got. So I got three 20 inch uh, 72 drive link 3 8 hexa chains. And um, the only problem is they only had 063 in the gauge, which uh, for me sucks because I'm a husky guy and I've got very few uh, 063 bars, but we'll figure out something. So I got three of them. Maybe uh, I'll sell one for about $5,000. <laughs> Or, uh, or do giveaways or something. I don't know. Definitely going to keep one for me and do a whack off with. We'll do a whack off with the Husqvarna C83 chain, this steel hexa, and the new Oregon uh, EXL chain. And then um, I got four files. No, three. Yeah, they only had three. What is it with the threes here? But so, so I got this. Didn't get all that I wanted and everything, but I did get it. And so this is uh, Saturday. We leave here on Monday and go to Berlin, Germany. And in Berlin, hopefully, hopefully they'll have some 050 gauge because uh, I'm definitely more interested in that. Uh, let me know if I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm wanting to say, let me know if you want one, but then everybody's gonna be like, yeah, I want one. Buy me one and I'll pay you. And then it's gonna be a whole big stupid mess. But <laughs> uh, I'm going to get what I get, and you guys will find out if there's a gift. I'll definitely give one of them away for sure, you know, just so that somebody else can try this stuff out. It'll be cool. Anyways, I'm back to driving on the wrong side of the road. See ya. All right. This is a Cypress. <laughs> Remember, I'm about 6'2", so this thing is huge. Look at that. To cut that stump, man. Let me see. Yeah. Will you stand by it, Irene? Sure. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> straight up. I know it is. Yeah. It is absolutely beautiful. If you stand up against it and look up, it's, yeah. This is a big old cypress. Let me tell you, this girl, she's heavy at the bottom. <laughs> she got a lot of stuff going on up top too. Come on, there's other trees, come on. Wow, I love it. Oh, it's plant, it says it's planted in 1907. Wow. Yeah. This is uh, Irene's University. 
She's a posh, spicy girl. <laughs> She's from Berlin and went to school over here in London town. Look at this. This is so cool. I feel like a, you know, you're the type of person that says Oxford's not brogues. I hope we're allowed right. to go. It looks like we might be having a wedding. I don't know if we're allowed to go. Well. Maybe not. We'll go, we'll go to the house in this one. We will. We'll get the university in there with it. Tell me about the tree. Uh, well, it's a monkey puzzle tree. And they're just really different looking. I don't know how old it is. There is a tag on it, but you'd have to go through the... Oh, I'll go through it. Oh my! <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. That's really neat. Well, hopefully, we'll find a smaller one, guys, so that uh, so that we'll be able to show you like the the needles of it and stuff. But I can tell you straight up, this is a really nifty looking tree. It's sort of like pine or aspen or anything like that, you know. But those um, they look like monkey tails. They look just like monkey tails. So. Irene's saying it's almost scaly. This is a nice big tree. We don't know how old it is or anything, but. No, it just says Arucaria, Arucana monkey puzzle. Anyways. Yeah. Irene went to school here to learn how to uh, deal with the messed up human brains, <laughs> which is great because I'm like a project for her. <laughs> huh. Look at the, um, the, that's a New Zealand tree fern. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, look at this, is that another cypress? What is that? That looks like a cypress. No, that's no. a redwood. Yeah. Oh my God, they got a redwood here? What the fuck? So. Are you serious? Yeah, or what are they called in England? Or are you thinking a sequoia? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be a really young one. The base young. is huge. That is huge. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a yeah. I can't believe that we're seeing a sequoia or redwood or possibly anything like that at all here in fucking England. Well, that is awesome. So this is clearly whatever it is, if it's a redwood or a sequoia, whatever it is, whatever it is, it's it's a good sized tree, right? But if it's one of those, it's a very young one, yeah. right? But even still, at the base, from, from you guys, I know nothing comes off on camera like it should, but from here to here. That's probably 10 feet or more, 10 or 12 feet at the base. It's big, all right, at the base. You get up here, you know, that's uh, that's probably 46 inches up there. Look, this is another one, and this one has the nameplate on it. So yeah, these are sequoians. I don't know how old they are. I don't know, but uh, it's a sequoia. I can't believe that there's a sequoia just outside of England. Several of them. Several. That is so cool. As, I, I know that I'm not the only one that feels this way. But isn't it odd how our hobby of chainsaws has made us appreciate and enjoy and love trees? Yeah. And here, like in the in England or in the UK, they collected plants from all over the world as they were discovering places. So yeah, they it was like a a symbol of status to plant your monkey puzzle tree from wherever I, I think it's from Australia, and your sequoia from the Americas, or whatever other you know tulip poplars from America, uh -huh. because they didn't have them here. And to think, seriously. The only reason we really are here is because I wanted to go on this little trip to drive a car on the wrong side of the road that's a stick shift. It had to be a stick shift. And go get some hexa chains, which are used to cut down these beautiful trees. <laughs> the irony. You know? This is lovely. Yeah. Lovely. 
Yeah, this place just... Old Bodhi might not have fit in so well. <laughs> it's a bit hoity-toity, <laughs> but it's very lovely. It wasn't hoity-toity, but it looks like it would be, but it wasn't. It was great. Really Hoity-toities nice. never say it's hoity-toity because <laughs> they don't understand. <laughs> but you ain't that, no, so I'm no, not. it must have been great. Yes. Goodness gracious. I feel kind of like I'm at a really nice Hogwarts. <laughs> it is. This is really nice. Queen Vicky. Hey, Queen Vicky. Okay. I can send, well, yeah. Yeah, bring it to me. And then we've got to go. Yeah, 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 we've got to go. The mighty Ford Puma. Da -na -na. It's a fun little car. 189 per liter. 16 quid for not even 10 liters. Fuck Joe Biden. <laughs> but more importantly than gas, look at this. I love all the differences in the different countries. That's so cool. Recycle me again. For the slow of wit, that means it's already been recycled at least once. Recording. Yeah? Yeah. Oh my god, babe. It's it's hitting a uh, this wow. Oh wow. That was this not is good. why you don't buy rental cars. <laughs> It was hitting this uh, rev limit thing, and every time it was spinning the tires, oh. it was not allowing it to happen. Oh. That's what that noise was. Oh well, so I guess uh, a Ford Puma sucks. <laughs> Just because you can't drive it shitty. <laughs> I Anyways. like it. Oh, I like it too, but I wanted to be able to do a good burnout. Oh, Which well. is shitty driving. And that's not shitty. <laughs> All right.